Good morning, tubers. Bruce Bender here. Bruce, the handyman version one, as a handyman never does the same thing twice. Well, today we're going to do some automotive trailer uh, plug wiring. I used to have a fifth wheel and I sold that uh, last year. I am going to uh, move the electrical connector for the trailer hitch, which still has electric brakes and all that stuff, to the back bumper from inside the box. So I'm going to use this bracket and I'm just going to move you now. So that is the connector that's coming out and we are going to move it down to here, probably to there, as I don't, if I hang it down here, it'll get torn off when I'm going through deep snow or I'm in four wheel drive somewhere. That's my new drill. Oh, by the way, I don't, uh, I don't uh, receive payments or uh, any kind of a financial gain from any, from anything or any company or anybody. Excellent. So now I'm just going to take that out and uh, I'll uh, come back when we're uh, disconnecting the wires off the terminals. Alright, show you what we're doing, what we're up to. Instead of doing all the research as to which pin does what and what number is which and which color goes to what pin, I have just taken a stick. Uh, Taking a piece of number on each one. There's one, right? There's one there. Two, all the way around. And each wire, each wire is numbered along the same as uh, each connector. So it's taking the science out of it. Okay, guys, this is the big test. Let's see if we can get that to come through back here. Good. We might have enough cable. I'm just going to lay you down. Okay. I don't know if, if we just got lucky or if it's designed. But there's room to put this connector just about anywhere on the back bumper here. So I'm thinking right about there. So now I'm going to widen these two holes here to accept a quarter inch bolt with my drill that I put new batteries in last week. <laughs> We're tightening that up a little bit. Now I'm going to take this and make the marks on the bumper. I like it. Now I'm going to just take a center punch and
So now we have a nice bracket on there with the cable coming through the hole. So before we stick this onto here, of course, we have to put this back through here. Hi guys. Well I've got the connector on <clears throat> back the way it was but after looking at this for a little bit on the original installation probably 12 years ago when I had my trailer brakes installed the guy who originally cut around here this is shrunk back used too sharp a knife or he didn't pay attention and he has nicked the uh, the wires and now 12 years later you can see there's a major exposure of the copper underneath so because I have some slack on the cable I am going to cut back to here but the they call it butting but this big cable back to here and cut the wires at the nick and reconnect everything Plus, as you see, they've used yellow connectors on these. I'm going to use the red and black T and B connectors on the wires so that they connect better onto the Phillips terminal. I hope I'm saying this correctly. So I am going to reconnect every one of these wires and cut them back to here and add the terminals. All right. So now I have scored this with a knife and I'm just going to snip along here. If you come in from the back side, you won't cause those nicks like you see right there again. On the connector itself, it actually shows you the black, green, so, and the, the colors are actually correct for the uh, for the pin numbers. So I'm just going to go right ahead, although I'm going to still put tape on them after I put the connectors on, because some of them have live voltages on them and I don't want them to touch each other. Okay, let's make sure we're not missing anything here. Now we can put the connector on. Might as well do the white first. Okay guys, so this is what I did. I went through each connection after I reconnected the uh, connect reconnected the connector. Does that make sense? And uh, on this chart here, I verified with the signal lights on and the running lights and all of that. So this is a much better looking, pardon me, I'm going to move you. This is a much better looking setup than I had before because each lead has its own T and B connector on it. A little more professional looking. So now we're going to just tape it up and uh, attach it to the bracket. Bye. Okay, tubes, there's the finished product. Real nice. I've tested every connector, it's nice and solid, it's up close to the hitch so it won't get damaged I hope. Just have to get the flashlight and tie wrap that cable up. And we're done, so thanks for watching. 
And my next job is going to be welding a patch on that hole there and uh, just spray painting it satin black after.